at this point, maybe, you know, like, you, you, you can keep the left, right, center, you know, the politics out of it. Just like I'm not, I'm not, I'm like your regular lady, Toronto, you know, my first friend, uh, variety store, they sold chips uh, and, and chocolate bars, and, and here I am, like, I'm running to political office, so here's, here, here's the, uh, Canadian dream, maybe. Yeah, how it goes. Yeah, how it goes. I'm ready to go. Okay, welcome. We have uh, Ajun Singh here, an outstanding writer. He has all kinds of pieces from all, all kinds of paper. National Post is one of them. Is going on um, as we're reading the report. CBC is saying that uh, they're clearing um, the areas. Um, what are your thoughts on um, the clearing? Uh, I should say, as Parliament is shut down. Well, the clearing as a whole and the government's whole response to this convoy, this peaceful protest, is a gross overreaction. These are people who have just come to a city center to peaceably assemble, to make their voices heard. And the idea that the Trudeau government will invoke the Emergencies Act to clear them out, will freeze their bank accounts, will arrest them, and throughout this time will stigmatize them with the worst kind of aspersions of them being Nazis or white supremacists when they're people of all races there who are very tolerant. It's just absolutely ridiculous. And this is actually a very pivotal moment in Canada's history, I think, because for the first time in a long time, we're seeing Canadians coming together to stridently assert their individual rights, which I feel is happening insufficiently in Canada. It certainly happened insufficiently throughout this pandemic. And the government's overreaction to that, to the idea that people will, you know, can come together and make their voices heard is ridiculous. And I don't think that the government's going to get very far because, well, they're trying to, you know, take trucks out of the city center and it's not easy to do that. They're not getting the kind of collaboration they would need with the tow trucks companies because they either support the protests or they don't want to tow their clients away who are going to sort of give them money in the future. So it's a failing effort. And I think we're going to see a positive outcome from this whole affair whenever it ends with the vaccine mandates and mask mandates being lifted. And I think that's a very good thing. Shut down. Yeah, and uh, so tomorrow, if, if this is clear, then I'll let hypothetical debate carry on, do you believe? Well, if they clear the protests tomorrow, then the day after, there are going to be people who come back to take their place. Canadians have absolutely reached a critical point right now where they are just unwilling to tolerate these measures that essentially ensure that there is a permanent pandemic. They want to ensure that you know these restrictions are prolonged, that their enhanced powers are prolonged. Why? Because it gives the government, and in this case, the Liberal Party, more means of ensuring their control and retaining power in Ottawa at a time when they're incredibly unpopular, when their policy program is failing. So they can clear the protest all they want. They can try. I don't think they'll be successful, but even if they are, more people will come back to take their place. And when you release these people from jail on bail or for whatever reason, they will come back to take their place. This is a grassroots movement of Canadians from coast to coast, supported by people all over the world. And I've always said this, when elites go up against the public opinion of not just Canada, of a country, but the world, the elites always lose. And that's what's happening here. Well, that's what the government should do, um, like, from this point forward that, that they're at. So is there anything levers immediate that, that, that could be uh, available to them? Like maybe even speak to the protesters or, or, or is it just the end of the mandates? Well, they should have spoken to the protesters on day one. That's what Justin Trudeau did with the indigenous protesters, the Wet'suwet'en, who in early 2020 were blocking off railway tracks. He sent Mark Miller, then the indigenous services minister, right then to speak to them on the tracks and negotiate a solution. And they did negotiate a solution. That's what Justin Trudeau should have done on the very first day this happened. He's waited dozens of days to hope that they would have moved by now, but they're not. The fact that they are sort of on the other side of his political opinion, that they're not indigenous voters who he can pander to for reconciliation politics, that they're people who are opposed to him more broadly, but 
they still have a legitimate argument is absolutely intolerable. That's why he hasn't met with them up until now. He's tried to delegitimize them. But at this point, he has no choice. His hand is being forced because his leadership is being, you know, right, rightly regarded as laughing stock and overreactionary, not just by Canadians, by the rest of the world. So if he wants to sort of stop digging the hole that he's now in, he has to go meet with the protesters. The government has to reach a negotiated solution. And quite frankly, the end point for that negotiated solution means the end of mandates, the end of vaccine mandates, mask mandates, testing requirements, the whole gamut. Canada needs to be like other Western industrialized countries, such as the UK, which have lower vaccination rates, but still have fewer restrictions than we do right now. So that needs to happen. And I think that if they do pursue a negotiated process, then that gives them a political out to save face, as it were. They can spend some time working together with the protesters and announce a date for removing these mandates sometime in the future that allows them to sort of uh, not seen, be seen as entirely capitulating, but also provide a timeline that will assuage the, not just the protesters, but the rest of the country that supports them. So I think that's what needs to happen. Yeah. Well, yeah. I, I've noticed.